Texture mapping is one of the most essential techniques for realistic image synthesis, since it enables augmenting geometric models with rich and realistic visual detail. We present a new method for synthesizing 3D solid textures from 2D exemplars. Our method is applicable to a wide variety of textures and is effective for texturing both the surface and the interior of solid objects. We also demonstrate that our method is well suited for synthesizing multi-channel textures. We extend global texture optimization to the task of solid texture synthesis. The values of all voxels in the solid are optimized simultaneously by considering 2D neighborhoods on three orthogonal slices. Note how the synthesized solid is similar to the exemplar on all slices. Texture optimization can get stuck in bad local minima, for example repeating the same exemplar neighbourhoods over and over again, or failing to make use of the full richness of the exemplar. We address this issue by integrating a histogram matching scheme into the optimization process. Histogram matching ensures that the synthesized solid is similar to the exemplar, not only with regards to local neighbourhoods but also in its global statistics. Furthermore, histogram matching significantly improves performance by making the convergence faster, as well as allowing us to use smaller neighbourhoods than in previous techniques. Note that all these advantages apply not only to solid texture synthesis, but also to 2D texture synthesis, as shown in these examples. In the remainder of this video we present some of our results. Many natural materials, such as wood and stone, are most realistically modelled using solid textures. This statue of a mother and her child looks as if it is carved out of a solid block of wood. The dragon appears to be made out of blocks of stone. Arbitrarily complex models can be textured effortlessly without facing the challenge of finding a parameterization. Once it is synthesized, the same solid texture may be applied to any 3D object without any additional computation. Rotating and translating the solid with respect to the object instantly changes the texture on the surface of the object. Textured interiors are useful for many graphics applications. For example, our solids can be used naturally for subsurface scattering simulations, as shown in this sequence. The X-ray style volume rendering reveals the intricate and coherent structure of our solids. In this example we interpreted the luminance of the texture as opacity. Our algorithm is directly applicable to multi-channel textures such as spatially varying BRDFs. In this example we added three additional channels to the RGB exemplar containing specular and shininess coefficients and displacement values. First we show only the three diffuse RGB channels. Then we add specularity and shininess. Finally, we add the displacement channel. Here are some more examples of solid textures with displacement channels. Note that the displacement has only to be specified on the 2D exemplar. Our algorithm automatically synthesizes the channel throughout the solid texture. Another example of multi-channel textures are the finished wood textures from the SIGGRAPH paper measuring and modeling the appearance of finished wood. They provide a texture with nine channels which encodes the complex anisotropic reflectance of finished wood. Using the exemplars provided with that paper, we synthesized a solid block of finished wood using our technique. Note the anisotropic behaviour of the highlights on the VARS model. In the paper we discuss several control mechanisms for solid synthesis.